this is happening. They're shutting off our nukes. They're doing this. They're landing. Stop right there. <laughs> yeah. This is the biggest part of the film. Yeah. What are the aliens doing with our nukes and our <laughs> nuclear facilities? I heard, I heard they turned them off and on yeah. as, like a, as a joke yeah. once. Yeah. Like a YouTube prank. So, yeah, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> with nukes. So I had the distinct honor of, of meeting with uh, former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. And it was towards the end of production. I'd been involved in the film probably at about the six-year mark at that point. And um, we did the interview. It was a great interview. He revealed some startling revelations on camera with me. And, and uh, he, was, he was like, hey, just so you know, I've got about 48 minutes to meet with you, and then I'm out of there. I was like, all right, I, I get it. So Why that number specifically? Uh, you know, he was very precise. Like, and he showed, up, he showed up like 10 seconds before the interview and left like right on time. He was out there. He had, the guy, it was a busy <laughs> schedule. So anyway, about two or three minutes before the end of the interview, I thought, God, I really need a B-roll shot of the two of us walking, sort of an establishing shot. So I was like, Senator, um, would you mind terribly? Would, would you have a minute? We could do a quick B-roll shot. And of course, being a politician, he knew exactly what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah. He goes, sure. So we go to the hallway. We're walking down the hallway together, and his security details like checking me out, and I get too close to him. It was kind of weird. And um, I said, uh, well, I might as well take advantage of these two minutes of walking with Senator Reid in the hallway. I said, if you don't mind me asking, he, and he spearheaded this secret Pentagon UFO program called ATIP that was lasted roughly 10 years. I said, what was one of the more astonishing aspects that you guys uncovered at this Pentagon program? And without hesitation, he goes, not just the fact that these UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena, are penetrating super sensitive nuclear weapons facilities all around the world, but in some instances, they're shutting them off. And he said, in a couple cases, if the president wanted to launch, he couldn't have launched. And I was like, holy shit, like, wow, coming from him, like, what? we're the third most powerful man, like, he would have been, you know. so. I was like, I have to cover that aspect of the phenomenon in the film. And I went back to production. I spent another year. And I contacted wow. the number one researchers in the world. And I put together that National Press Club event that someone, and I featured testimony, Robert Hastings, testimony after testimony after testimony from the highest level military officials exclusively responsible for the deployment of our atomic weapons, the most sensitive all saying the same thing and nuclear installation after installation after installation which was what were what so we we specialize not in harry reed but in riley reed so like let's break this down a little <laughs> Sorry, bit for yes, us okay course, yes. she was on that mic one time it was in her throat <laughs> my question is this how do, how do you just, <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> How do you draw the connection between a nuclear shutdown of a facility and aliens? Right, because and and I'm asking this question because we know that there's a bunch of other things, mm. mostly warring nations, that are trying to do th just that. Right, with cyber warfare, they're trying to. And we do it to North Korea all the time. We just say, Yo, your 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 systems are now offline. We get malware into their systems. We turn it off, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we do on the cyber offensive. And people are doing it to us. Russia's doing it to us. Uh, Iran's trying to do it to us, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Why was it aliens that did it? Well, I don't think they're saying aliens. I think what they're saying is you've got a sighting, you know, of all, you got all these military guys looking at a disc hovering over a silo. Oh, well, that changes. <laughs> yeah, and they're all looking at it. They're picking it up on radar. It's right there. And then all of their systems shut off, Got and then it. it just goes, poo, and shoots off of the distance and is gone. And it's really funny. I talked to this launch control officer, Colonel uh, Salas, and um, he was so funny. I, I realized, like, why this guy was a launch control officer, because he was so calm mm. and mellow. He's like, yeah, well, uh, the way I see it, it's kind of like taking matches out of the hands of a baby. Like, <laughs> I thought, well, wow, that's an interesting perspective. Well, I mean, you know? what can a baby really do with matches? Yeah, no <laughs> way a baby knows how to light, light it. it.